Hey guys, Bobby Dootube here. God bless you guys for watching. I want to thank you for all the comments you guys left for subscribing. I love you guys. If anyone knows me, I got saved in 2001. And uh, ever since then, I've been a church goer. If anyone knows me, they know I'm a church goer. I try to support the church as much as possible. Uh, the Mondays, the Thursdays, the Tuesdays, wherever date <coughs> there is. I've been from West Palm Beach to Florida to Maine. Wherever there is a church, I will go. Because I love the Lord and I believe as a Christian, you should definitely go to church. And I mean, Paul says not to uh, forsake the assembly. So wherever there is a church, I will go. <clears throat> this past couple weeks, though, I've been out of it. And I believe the Bible does say that we should confess our sins uh, to each other. This way we'll be healed. I've been out of it the past couple weeks. Um, you have to understand something. That our church is 700 strong. And it's just been a big event this past um, couple of years since I moved here to Staten Island. Uh, going to church, knowing everyone there, not only being related to 600 of them, the other 100 people you know personally. And it's it's been unbelievable. And it still is. I mean, there's nothing against the church because the pastor's preaching up an amazing uh, preaching about giving. Which I think we should all be giving. The, uh, of course, the choir is always unbelievable. So this is nothing against the church. The church is doing a beautiful job. They really are. It's just something personal. But I also believe that a pastor on television I heard say that when something comes more important than God to you, he's more... He's more worried about your soul than about your happiness, which makes sense because your happiness lasts a short time and your soul is for eternity. So he will strip you of whatever you put before him to make sure that he's the most important thing in your life. <clears throat> and like I was saying that walking in church uh, was such a great thing for me because you could dress you and your family, your car was washed, it was a beautiful night, there's nothing else better than having your whole family in church. Uh, for all you who are fortunate that all Christians, it is the most beautiful thing when you walk in church with your family and everyone, you, everyone's there you know. And uh, I guess, it, I don't know, maybe it's a little part of the world of me because I know back in the day in the nightclubs would walk in and you know everyone there. You walk in a casino, you know everyone there. So I guess that's a little part of me that uh, that kind of lasts. Walking in church and knowing everyone. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic thing. Uh, a lot of my pictures that I took in for my before and afters were in church. A lot of the couples that I took uh, were in church and it's become a big event. Uh, I think the, one of the greatest things after church was when you want, went into a restaurant you had the entire church there to be 20 tables and all your kids were running around and um, you have all your friends and your family that you love and you're, you're eating and you're laughing you know and it's good fellowship it is and uh, it was just a lot of fun well this past couple weeks it hasn't been that way uh, things have been kind of quiet which they are getting better I know they are and I thank God for that but um I ask God, all right, God, why, why am I so out of it? The, the church is the same. People are still worshiping. People are still going to the restaurants. And the Lord revealed to me something, that I went from being a churchgoer to a people-goer. I don't know if you understand what I meant by that, uh, but it was a great revelation to me. Uh, I wasn't excited as much as about the Word as I was about being a part of a 700-people family and friends get-together. Uh, yes, I worship, and yes, I took my communion, I heard the word, but it was just exciting to be around all these people, and hey, how you doing, waving and shaking hands and stuff, and taking the pictures, and people wanting you to take their pictures, and uh, I mean, I have a whole uh, site called Sunday Staten Island, one word, uh, it's on my favorites, if you look at it, where I was taking pictures of the church, and I don't think there was anything bad about that, I don't think there was a bad thing to take pictures in the church to show people how beautiful our church is and stuff like that, I think it just became more important. All the events that was going on became more important for me. And uh, I believe that God did strip me of this stuff because it became sort of a, a idol. And am I saying that this happened just for me? No. But I do believe that God will use every situation for His glory and His advantage. Even this small situation, because it is a small situation. Um, so I'm confessing this to you guys that uh, I thank God that he did reveal it to me that he did bring me back down to reality that church is not about an event it's about him it's about your salvation it's about going in there and, and spending that quality time because you can see your friends and your family seven days a week church is about God leave some comments I really would appreciate what you guys think uh, again 
church is going great. This is not a personal attack. I love my church. I love my pastor. My son's on the choir. Uh, this is just something I felt, though, that God put upon my heart that maybe someone else out there is maybe going through the same thing. And maybe they just need a word of encouragement that, that we need to get back to the basics of the Word of God and true worship, where your mind is not wondering where to go to afterwards, who's here, uh, what, you know, what about this, what about that, to get back basically to a clean heart and a clean mind towards God. God bless you guys. Leave comments. Over and out.